Hi, and welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Phil DeGrave, and this is my review of Reign of Assassins. I know this is an older film, but I'm an older person. I'm doing this review because I really like this film, and when it was released in cinemas, I don't think it got the attention it deserved. It should have been quite a lot more popular than it was, because it's a damn good movie. This film is witty, stylish, fun, at times breathtaking, and worth every penny of your purchase. Because you will buy it, you will not download it! Reign of Assassins is the story of a struggle for the mortal remains of a martial arts master, possession of which bestows untold power. Of course they do! No one ever fights to fucking possess the power to do laundry instantly. A group of assassins is working to acquire those remains for the benefit of their leader. It's always good to see Michelle Yeoh in a martial arts movie. And it's always good to see someone in a martial arts movie that's good at making martial arts movies. Watching her made me feel nostalgic. And it also made me realize just how rare it is for real action stars to grace the screen. Michelle Yeoh isn't young anymore, and if she's lost a step, we must forgive her. Time marches on, and for people in physically challenging careers, like being martial artists in movies, time often walks all over you. Even so, Michelle Yeoh is still very graceful and powerful, and quite simply, impressive. It was a joy to watch her action scenes because you could see her face in them a lot more often than you did her co-stars. She obviously did, and was capable of, much more of her own action work than the other people in the movie. I don't want to tell you that much about the story or its development because watching it is part of the fun, especially one of the best plot twists that I've seen in quite a long time. It's completely unexpected, bizarre, and great. Don't worry, it has nothing to do with butloading. Reign of Assassins is a story told with verve, patience, and skill. There are real solid characters in the film, and for a change you get to know them. This character development really contributes to the story, as well as your enjoyment. Now, I'm all for mindless entertainment, but that doesn't mean I'm incapable of appreciating smart films, especially when they have subtitles like this. You can see why I appreciated this movie. Barbie Sue plays the new assassin on the team, and she's a dirty, filthy girl. Now, I mean that in the most positive and flattering way possible, believe me. Sean Yu plays an assassin with a fascination for noodles. He's dubbed into Mandarin in the film, but it didn't distract me as much as I thought it might. There's an odd credit in the opening sequence of the film. Reign of Assassins is directed by Su Chao Pin and co-directed by John Woo. Now, it may be debatable how big or how small the co is, but the film is good enough that I really don't care. This film was a really big, positive surprise for me when I saw it in the cinema. I hadn't heard much about it, which is sometimes good and sometimes a catastrophe in the making, but when I saw it, I was just really, really surprised in a good way. It's entertaining for the martial arts and for the story and the characters. I really enjoyed the movie, and I think you will too, so I want you to watch it. But of course, I don't want you to download it. There are links in the description where you can buy a DVD or buy a Blu-ray and not download movies, thus avoiding the idea that you're a piece of shit. So I want you to buy the movie. Don't download it. Be a decent person. Be a good person. Don't make me kill you. If you enjoyed this review, please leave me a comment. If you didn't, leave me a comment. But don't blame me for what happens afterwards. If these reviews entertain you, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a pleasant evening.